personal experience is that when reading excerpts from the Quran in, um, in uh, world history this year, uh, a lot of principles and values were exactly the same ones that I remember seeing in Hebrew school growing up and ones I see once a week at the Lutheran church where I work. Um, learning about different people's cultures exposes similarities between theirs and ours, uh, which a third of students at the high school agree has a very unifying um, and calming effect as we begin our adult lives. As one of the best school systems in the state and the country, it is our duty as parents, teachers, administrators, citizens, and fellow students to ensure that when students leave Chatham, they're not only bright, but have a broad scope of the world around them and our global citizens. Awesome. Tonight, the two mothers said that the students in the school were not being taught other religions, which is false. In the year before, we were taught about Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, and Confucianism, and legalism. Also, when the mother said that they thought that the video was trying to recruit their children to, the, to Islam at the, la at the last meeting, I in no way felt that I was being, torn, being brought to Islam when I watched that video myself uh, a year ago. I am a Christian. I, will, I am, was a Christian yesterday. I am a Christian today. I'll be a Christian tomorrow, and I'll be a Christian in a week, and a month, and a year from now, and nothing's going to change that. When I watched that video, my seventh grade teacher said that I want to show you this video about Islam so I can tell you what, is really, what it is really about and not all the bad things that people in the world are saying it is about. Thank you. There were also threats against the Board of Education, teachers, and superintendent. Now there's a growing angst among students and parents of the school district and community at large. Free speech is a powerful tool that can benefit all of us if used mindfully. It can get rid of ignorance and hate. Instead, it can be used to embrace what the world has to offer us. Let us choose love and compassion. One of the things that I do in my spare time is I volunteer as an alumni interviewer for a couple of uh, top 10 universities. And the reason that I do that is, one of the reasons I really like to do it is because I feel like it gives me a window into what my own children will go through uh, as they go through the school. And I interview a lot of kids in the community, not just from here, um, kids from private school, public school, parochial school, sometimes boarding school. And I am always happy to have a Chatham High School student because the caliber of student is so high. Um, the outcomes are measurable, as uh, Mr. Mayor put up on the, on the board there. Um, I think it's something that we, as a commuter, should be proud of. And it's something that I certainly see when I interview kids. You know, sometimes I get home and I feel just overwhelmed by how good the students are. You know, they're not just strong academically, but they care about the world around them. Uh, over the last month, uh, I was wondering if uh, it is still the place that I came here 18 years ago, uh, and if there was any doubt uh, that was left at the end of this discussion, uh, it, was, uh, it was dispelled by the presentation of uh, the two social sciences <coughs> teachers. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, again, this is my first meeting, uh, first uh, presence at the board, uh, and uh, I, I know Mike very well, uh, but uh, I, I, I because I thought that everything was going on well. Uh, but I'm glad I came, and I'm proud to be a citizen of Chatham. 